<laughs> hey everyone, Death the Knee Kill, Kill Tano, Tano here, here, the internet's least brutal music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Gorguts EP, Pleiades Dust. This is a brand new EP from Quebec death metal band Gorguts. And they have one of the most solid discographies in the genre. So solid that they actually came back with their last full-length album, 2013's Colored Sands. Uh, it was 10 years prior to that record since they had dropped their last studio album. And w w Colored Sands, the follow-up record, the comeback record, was great. Even when faced with the pressure of a comeback record, Gorguts does not fold. They deliver once again. And now they're back with this new EP. It's 30 minutes long and it's pretty much just one long track, one multifaceted piece. So even though it is a little short and it's not another album, Making a record that is one long conceptual piece is an ambitious undertaking. And this EP's one single track does justify its length because it is a very dynamic piece, featuring lots of eerie and subtle interludes spacing out the very dissonant and discordant and ugly and heavy and savage and brutal passages of dizzying complex guitar riffs and relentless drumming. There's even a deep ambient drone that kicks in around the 19 minute mark that kind of creates this calm before the storm of guitars that rush in right after that take on kind of like a sludge metal tone. Very heavy, very bassy. I like that the band is able to kind of jump between these doomier, slower, heavier passages and also occasionally deliver these spots that are, I don't know, a little noisy and somewhat lo-fi and seem almost industrial. The band continues on this EP to deliver this type of metal music that is it's very precise, it's very dense, it's very impenetrable, but it doesn't give into this whole ultra slick production style. And of course the result is that the mix and the recording is a little chaotic. There's so much going on. And occasionally, just occasionally, there is the rare performance imperfection, but nothing that takes away from the overall experience of the record. Uh, while yes, it is hard to kind of make complete heads or tails of what's going on here on your first or even second listen. Uh, it's it's not really due to the recording or the mix or anything like that. It's just the band uh, writes and performs in a way where their music becomes this really intense tangled web. The performances and the recording on this record, they're organic, they're fluid, and they embody this really potent sense of rage. And some really thoughtful intricacies too, when you actually can move beyond the aggression of these songs and kind of take in exactly what the guitars and drums are doing. Because the angular guitar riffs and the mathematically complicated drums on this thing do have an amazing chemistry. This EP is epic, it's cutthroat, it's like lightning bolts being thrown down from the sky by Zeus himself. It's crushing and visceral while also being a little soul-sucking and kind of dismal, a little depressing. I think stylistically and musically, this EP is very much akin to Gorgut's last record, but they didn't just simply repackage a series of Colored Sands afterthoughts here. You know, we got this very cohesive, fluid, long 30 minute piece, which stands on its own. Not really a whole lot of complaints about this EP. I'm really loving what I'm hearing. Feeling a light to decent eight on this thing. Transition. Have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe. Please don't die. <laughs> Anthony Fantano, Gorguts, Pleiades, Dust, Forever.